Ladies, we are back with another account review, and this time it's gonna be a fun one. We have an AR57 player who started Genshin way back in the beginning, took a long break, they're back, and they need some help, okay? They've pulled lots of their favorite characters, but they're still having some trouble clearing the abyss. So let's see what a player coming back to the game who played at the beginning, who is an AR60, and needs a little bit of our assistance. Well, let's see what their account looks like. Homies, let's hop right into it. Shout outs to Alchemist, who we are reviewing their account. And homies, let's learn something. Ladies and gentlemen, we are into the account. Ooh, baby, let's get started with what we always like to do first, ladies and gentlemen. I always wanna read some information from our wonderful account reviewee. I like to ask them things like, how long have you been playing? What makes your account interesting? What do you want the viewers to know about your account? So Alchemist says, I've been playing shortly after Genshin released, but I stopped playing for a few years. I started playing a lot since February. My favorite characters are Toma, Shao, Kazuha, and Sino. We got a Husbando appreciator. Okay, we need more of those. I lack good artifacts, so my best build characters change a lot because I need to switch things around a lot. Teams also vary. I'd have to say Shao, Kazuha, Bennett, and Toma is my favorite team, but my Yelan is best build. Okay. Dude, I see Nouvellet. I see Nahida over there. We got Yelon. Things are looking good, my friend. You've got a bright future on this account, I can already tell you, but we gotta find the problems because it seems like there might be some. Homies, let's hop into the characters right now. So here we are checking out Alchemist characters. Like I already talked about, we've got Nouvellet, Nahida, Kazuha. Absolute banger characters. Shao, apparently one of his favorite characters. We got Sino, Toma. I love Kokomi on the account. Claps for Kokomi, we love that. We've got Kuki, premier hyper bloom option. Always good to have. I see Jean, Yelan I already mentioned is a nice standout. Shongling is, I gotta say homies, this is a criminally underleveled Shongling. We don't just say it as some propaganda, as Genshin content creators, as day one homies, that Shongling is absolutely broken, busted, crazy strong. We say it because it's true and you get the character for free, baby. Look, if you want a 36 star the abyss, this girl is gonna help you a lot. But hey, I can't make you level up whoever you want. Fischl? Fischl, bro? Level 50 Fischl? Okay, level 20 Aloy, I ain't, you're not gonna catch me complaining. Level 20 Sucrose? I know you have Kazuha, but this girl's goaded. What are the cons on here? C4. C1 is like the one that I think propels her to like pretty much her max potential. Dude, Yao Yao? Yao Yao is goaded, bro. This is a five star in disguise. Look, I can rag about the four stars not being leveled up, some of the goat four stars, but dude, you have fantastic characters. Where my problem lies, is that a lot of those characters I just mentioned, in my opinion, are support slash sub DPS characters where they support the on-field character. Right here, you know, we do have a lot of main DPS characters. Like Shao is a main DPS. He wants to be on the field. Nouvellet, main DPS on the field. Yes, we have Yelon, but Yelon unfortunately doesn't synergize with Shao or Nouvellet. So that's a little bit of an issue. We do have, of course, like a crazy team like Sino, Yelon, Nahida, right? So that's great. We've got like a really strong hyper bloom, quick bloom option, but it does seem like some of the best supports in the game, a little bit neglected and supports are the glue that hold teams together. So I like to ask, what are some things you want the viewers to know about your account? And uh, they say they are a Toma main. They just can't get good artifacts for the guy yet. And I only pull for characters I like. Beautiful, based, living by the Eek's way. All right, that's what everybody should do. And I'm not free to play. I've spent around, oh, they're, they're dropping the number. They're dropping the number, chat. Who's got guesses? We saw those characters. And then let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the weapons real quick. They dropped the numbo. All right, here we go, scrolling down. We've got Aqua, Polar, the, the new Let's book, I don't know the name of. Cash flow supervision, Homa, a couple standard banner weapons. Level one Skyward Harv, level one Skyward Harv. No. Okay. Our homie has dropped around 400 on the game. Finally, I asked, what do you want for advice or tips, things you wanna work on, anything you want me to help you out with? And uh, they say, any help with team comps or which artifact domains to farm would be good. I'm AR 57 and still haven't cleared the abyss to 36 stars yet. So we're gonna take a way bigger deep dive into these characters, the weapons, everything. But guys, that is the goal today. At the end of the video, the stream, I'm gonna be heading into the abyss. I have consent from Alchemist to give it a try. And if I'm able to 36 star clear it, then I'm gonna say that's a dub, all right? Whew, let's go. Let's get into these characters now, baby. 
Let's start with the big man himself, New Valette. He's got his signature weapon. Artifacts. Two, two piece marshals. That's that's a little old. Oh, no! Chad, I gotta move my camera for this. Chad, I gotta move my camera for this. This is all the sands on the whole account. Let's hold. Let's hold judgment. We're at C0. Talents are solid. Okay, so I only see one glaring problem on this new player. 53% crit would be good if we had four piece Mario. Chelsea, but unfortunately we don't. Let's check out Nahida, the wonderful and sweet Dendra Archon herself. Sack frags are five. I'm cool with that. It's not my favorite weapon, but two piece deep wood again. Don't know. C0. The talents are good. Bro, I, I can't even really, I can't even really look into these too much. Look at that Sans though. God damn. Homie, do you only keep like cracked goaded pieces? 40 CV EM Sans on deep wood is pretty saucy. But then you got this. Look at the dude. Look at the juxtaposition, dude. I almost had a, I almost had went into cardiac arrest from the whiplash there. Let's check out Kazuha. He's on Iron Sting. Totally respect that. Solid. Please tell me we got four-piece viridescent. Okay, one of them's a four-star, but at this point, <laughs> at this point, bro, I'm gonna take it. C0, triple crown. All right, dude, respect. I mean, Kazuha is a character to respect. This guy is goaded. Um, 586 elemental mastery only. Animo damage, definitely need elemental mastery, my bro. Animo ain't worth it. I guess it's on viridescent, so we don't have a choice, but. Bro, how'd you even get? I was about, I was about to say, how do you even have that much elemental mastery? <laughs> you got, you got a 93 elemental mastery uh, flower. Not a bad off beast. I'll give you that. Let's take a look at Bennett. Bennett, we got Fav Sword R5. It's only level 39. It's only level 39. Ooh, no, four piece no bless. Cool. I'm not even gonna complain. He's C6. We got four piece no bless. All right. Just a quick thing, but especially for Bennett, dude. The reason why Bennett is so goaded, he gives his attack, he gives a percentage of his attack as a buff to the enemies. It's his base attack, which you can see in the top right, the weapon has base attack listed. So it is not only Bennett's level, which you have him at 80, so you have the max, it then takes the number of the base attack of your weapon, and that's the attack buff, right? So like, we obviously want something juicy, like Skyward Blade here, okay? All right, they say I switch weapons with uh, Shing Cho and Bennett. Okay, good to know, good to know. This is solid. All right, Skyward Blade is there. Now that's what I like to see. Primordial Jade, Wing, Spear, Shout. After those viridescent pieces, I'm, um, I'm not optimistic. <laughs> okay, Alchemist says, I've done the Witch Domain around 300 times for my Toma. I got nothing, so all my resin went there. All right, triple crowns. Definitely can't clear the abyss. Watch me, okay? Watch me, bro. I'm gonna go on the goddamn miracle run tonight. Boom. 91. Look at those stats, though. <laughs> Honestly, bro, no, no, uh, what's it called? No set bonus? Who cares? Those stats were kind of juicy. <laughs> Honestly, some of these pieces are pretty solid. I mean, they are genuinely solid. Let's take a look at Eula. Eula has Serpent Spine, Goaded Weapon. Not really any artifacts to speak of. So guys, look, I'm actually going to, I will sparingly look at the artifacts here, but I think it's obvious. Look, I'm not trying to rag on the guy. I'm not trying to completely roast our dude, uh, but that definitely seems to be a big problem. So a point that we need to focus on to make this account better. So I'm not gonna rag too hard on it, but look, talents are pretty solid here. We should definitely get her normal attack up a little bit more. Her burst being up is great, but Eula does auto attack a ton. So I would get that to like eight. Uh, at the minimum, if you do use her. C0, um, Serpent Spine is a great weapon. And yeah, so moving on to Yaelon. Now, our dude said his Yaelon is very well built. Check it. Aqua Simulacra. That is a lot of damage. That can definitely freaking carry. Artifacts, uh, two-piece emblem server fate. If we could somehow get four-piece emblem, I'll take a look at the pieces in a little bit. You know what? Let's check now. Um, she's on this one. So I could steal one of these pieces, get her on three piece. Nothing here to use. I could steal an energy recharge, which she would use. HP with crit damage and ER. But honestly, with Aqua, we're probably gonna need that ER. So I think I could actually run. I think I could actually run your Yalon on four piece emblem. And we might be able to get some, some work done there. Constellation zero. Talents are very high, dude. Very high talents. Okay. Toma. This is our dude. Whoa! Staff of Toma? All right. I'm sorry. I couldn't help the obvious joke there, but okay. Crimson Witch Toma. Is this guy capable of doing damage? <laughs> Am I missing out on a secret OP Toma build? 
C6, love it. Triple crowns. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful, my dude. Beautiful. No, he can't do damage. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Look at, look at the stats, though. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work, bro. We're going to do this. This is a first. This is a first for me. I've never seen this. I've never seen this combination of character weapon before in my entire life. Let's check out Sino. White Tassel is a, is a, yeah. Two piece emblem. Got a zero. Nine, nine, nine. The talents are high though. The talents are high. White Tassel's good. I mean, sure it's good, but I mean, we got Savahoma. We got freaking Primordial Jade Wing Spear. We've got the Black Cliff. Katane gives energy, right? It might be weird with his uh, burst actually. So probably not. Actually, no. Katane might actually work with him. Katane seems like it would be better, but uh, I will um, I will believe you guys. Polar Star Yoimiya. That's beautiful. Man, we've got the makings of so many good builds. We're just a little bit held back. Prototype Coco. Unfortunately, that's not going to cut it. Solid enough talents at the end of the day. You kind of only need the, the jellyfish. All right, taking a look at the weapons in more detail. Look at all these good five-star weapons. Our homie said he spent a little bit of bread on the game and uh, definitely looks like the weapon banner was not neglected. Aqua Simulacra, goaded, man. Polar Star, amazing. Tom of the Eternal Flow. Cash Flow. Jade, Toma, and these are good five-star weapons. Maybe you hold pride, bro. Skyward Harp, this is a this is a such a good weapon. My five-star weapon, tier list just came out the other week, so check that out. But dude, Skyward Harp is one of, if not the best, stat stick weapons in the game, and probably easily the best standard banner weapon you can get, in my opinion. Close with Jade. Awesome weapon, man. Definitely, definitely level this up. You have Rust. Dude, R5 Rust is really good on Yoimiya, especially. So the fact, it, it's good. It's just good to see this because you can run this on Yoimiya. The damage is extremely high. Don't get it twisted because it's a four star. Um, and then you can run Polar Star on someone else or Skyward Harp on someone else, etc. Prototype Amber. I love that. Is there another Favbo leveled up? That I would say, this I would say is a big problem. Uh, my camera's blocking it, but this is a level 20 Favbo R5. Dude, Favonius bow, absolutely goaded. It's amazing on every support bow in the entire game. They are going to love having this weapon. Your yay lawn. I know that Aqua is fire. Genuinely, man, if you don't get your burst up with yay lawn, she's just, she feels very weak, right? It, she's just a character that needs her burst. And Fab helps her do that. So looking at your artifact quality and stuff, it doesn't look like you have enough ER to even get that up. So bro, Fab bow is a fantastic weapon to level up. Sack bow is a good weapon. Fab lance. I'm going to be honest, guys. I think every account in the game, genuinely, even if you're like a turbo whale, you should have, if you have the ability to, every single Favonius weapon at R5, level 90. Maybe you hold a few if you never use the, the Fav Greatsword, you know, the Claymore, whatever. Fav weapons are goaded, guys. But besides that, dude, I don't see anything really weird here uh, about your weapons. Maybe Thrilling Tails, max level, because you do have Kokomi. Um, but besides that, man, Everything looks pretty good. Homies, Alchemist said we have to look at Yalon's crit rate. It is the pride and joy of his account. Here we go. <laughs> All right, dude, you got me there. Six, nice, bro, nice. Good crit damage. Honestly, the ER isn't atrocious. Are we C1? No, we're not. Just double checking. Um, Yeah, I mean, this is okay. If you have Xing Cho or someone generating a ton of energy for you, you might be able to get away with the CR, but not. Nice crit rate, bro. Homies, I think it's pretty obvious that we see the big glaring issue on this account. It is definitely 100% the amount of five-star artifacts that our dude has max leveled up on different sets, etc. Homie, some of the pieces I've seen from you are really good, and then some of the ones I've seen are very weak. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you might have a very high standard for artifacts. How I look at artifacts is if it is your only... Crimson Witch Goblet, Pyro Goblet, even if the stats suck, bro, it is your only Pyro Damage Goblet on Crimson Witch. So it doesn't matter if it sucks. You can't compare it to someone else's because if you don't have one, it's either nothing or the bad one and you want the bad one, right? Or my friend, you just haven't spent enough time in the domains, okay? Just keeping it a buck. Oh no. Boys, I don't, I don't see any. Boys, I don't see any anywhere. Homies, I just went through all the characters. I crunched the numbers on the best characters here, characters that our dude likes, and I think I've got a good resin spending plan to fix all these problems. It's not gonna happen overnight, but I've got a plan. So first, the Deepwood Memories Gilded Dreams Artifact Domain, okay? That is going to help Sino. It is going to help Nahida. 
Because Sino can use Gilded. Yes, he's going to like Thundering Fury more in an optimal situation, but it's solid. He can run the two-piece with something else. It'll work. Nikita, it's going to be great. Baizu can run Deepwood on certain teams. Toma, look, I know that Toma's your boy. I know you were running Crimson Witch, which that is a cool build. By all means, go forth and conquer, my friend. But one of Toma's strongest roles in the entire game is the dude on Virgin. And trust me, he's the one doing the damage, man. You stack all the elemental mastery on Toma, you create the seeds, he's the one who blows them up. So maybe he doesn't have the high crit rate, crit damage, all the like swag, cool stats. He is still the one pumping out all the damage. Virgin Toma, absolutely goaded, and you can run him on four piece gilded. So we've got Toma. I've got Dendro Traveler running Deepwood. I've got Kooky running Gilded on um, Hyper Bloom, of course. So dude, Deepwood Memories, Gilded Dreams. Seems like a fantastic domain. And then the second one that I recommend is Emblem of Severed Fate. Couldn't you believe it? Eeks recommending Emblem of Severed Fate? Ain't no way. Look, we got Yelon. Wants Emblem, ton of damage, amazing. Xing Cho, Emblem, damage. Shang Ling, Emblem, damage. Beidou, Emblem, damage. But here's another thing. Shiminawa's Reminiscent, the four piece, is amazing on Yoimiya. It's gonna have her pop off and do a lot of damage. Your Yoimiya is well leveled up with lots of awesome weapon options with great supports like Yelon and Ching Cho. She could pop off, man. And then, um, this is a big one. The two piece Shiminawa's attack is fantastic on Xiao. Look, maybe we'd like a four piece for a million at the end of the day, but it's not a great domain to farm in terms of resin efficiency or Mara Chaussey, right, is cool on him, but you don't have Farina, that consistent, you know, character to help him lower his health. Well, I'm an idiot. He lowers his health himself. But. Chow can lower his health with Mara Chaussey, but like the domain itself actually doesn't create that much, you know, efficiency for your account. Cause I see Fischl, she wants Golden Troop, Nouvelle Ryo and Xiao can use Mara Chaussey. And right now, I don't think that's enough. I think you're gonna get more value out of Emblem and out of Deepwood. So here is what I propose. You spend your resin for the next couple months, honestly, for the next like very long time. Let's get better Deepwood pieces, Deepwood Gilded, and better Emblem Shiminawa pieces and all the weak pieces that you accumulate, the ones that just aren't good. We're gonna take them to the strong box for two sets. The biggest one, Viridescent Venner, homie. Kazuha needs Viridescent Venner. I see that you have it, which is great, but our homie is gonna want Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery. The only way that a crit animal build on Kazuha is even viable is if you're C6. I'm just keeping it a buck, okay? You can run it for fun, for a little bit more personal damage, but at the end of the day, he's swirling all the time. Elemental Mastery raises the swirl damage, bro. So dude, farming Viridescent until you have triple EM is what I think every account should do. Genuinely, every account, at least one. But the thing is, bro, I think you should eventually get two because you have Sucrose, who's an absolutely amazing character. You can't run Kazuo on both sides. If we can get Sucrose as well, a four piece Viridescent Venator set, that's gonna be game changing. Definitely Strongbox VV and the other Strongbox that I recommend. Um, honestly, if Sino is one of your favorite characters, Thundering Fury looks like the next best bet because it really is extremely strong on him. Um, you don't have any other characters that really need Thundering Fury on the account. You know, I don't see like Kaching or maybe you have Kaching. It's <laughs> just not leveled up. Uh, well, no, there's no Kaching at all. So, dude, I think VV is the best bet. You get that done, and then you can move on to something like Thundering Fury. Maybe more Emblem pieces. Maybe more Crimson Witch pieces for Toma. It's just not a great domain to farm because Lava Walker is kind of mid. Dude, I think if you follow those protocols, that is going to take this account to the next level and get you a lot more artifacts to make all of these amazing characters you have truly shine. Because right now, they're leveled up. Their talents are up. Their weapons are popping off. We just need those artifacts, my dude. Okay. My dude asked me to see my teapot today. So surely he wouldn't ask if they didn't have a fire teapot. Okay. 2000 Adeptal rank, I'll save you. My bone whistle. Oh, wait, there's some action over there. Hold up. Oh, dude, this Gwoba Hot Springs is actually fire. It's so cute. I've never seen this. You can summon wind? I am learning so much about the teapot meta right now. Homies, real quick. Alchemist wants to give a big shout out to their partner who helps them play Genshin when they've got work and they're busy, helps them explore and clear the map and play with their characters. So Alchemist wanted to give a big shout out to their partner. Much love. Hey, Alchemist partner, you're pretty cool. We appreciate you. 
Aquamist does uh, especially appreciate you though. Okay, so shout out to you. Okay, here we are going to the abyss. Let's see what we're working with here. Do I gotta do floor nine from scratch? Uh, okay, floor 1232? Dude, we got close. Wait, we got so close. This is gonna be one of the toughest clears ever. Emerald, do not be sorry, my friend. I'm gonna have some fun. This isn't gonna be enough. Let's give it a try, boys. Let's give it a try, but I'm, I'm feeling... You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a toughie. All right, that was fast. This floor is definitely doable. I was barely off. I, and, I, and I definitely like fucked up some rotations there. All right, we can be floor one. We can, we can three star floor one. Easy, 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 easy. I know we can. Whew. Okay, honestly, I literally just made sure to not switch to Baizu, because he was applying too much fucking Dendro. <laughs> I was like, Dendro, you can sit, you got it, Dendro. Baizu, you can sit this one out, G. Dude, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. The last four is actually going to be easier. Legit, the last four is going to be easier. You guys got to trust me. I hate being at the cusp. I'm just at the very precipice of the fucking clear. And that's why it hurts so bad. That's why I'm so fucking salty. I'm so close. No! Bro! Really, dude? I'm so fucking pissed. The Hydro runs out on the last second. The last second! There was nothing I could fucking do. Imagine, imagine being the fucking psychopath that created this, this, this robot. Insane, bro. I'm gonna hurl. Chat. Look, yay long burst up. No. Are you kidding me? Yes, 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 yes! Oh, go! Oh my god, go. Go to chamber three. Oh, dude, yes, bro! Emerald, don't worry, buddy. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this for you, okay? You know, I, I will selfishly admit, right? This is me fighting my own demons, all right? I gotta prove the haters wrong. I gotta prove the non-believers wrong. Cause I know they're out there. I can smell, I can smell the doubt out there. Okay? And I just can't, I just don't fuck with that. Okay. This is a pretty good run. It is possible. You know what, man? It is possible. It's easy. No offense. No offense, man. <laughs> look, look, look. It was easy. No, oh, man, let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. All right. Holy crap, homies. I am so happy we did it. But here, look. Here are a few really quick things to throw here at the end of some things we could have improved. If Kuki was able to be ascended, Hyper Bloom's damage is directly correlated with the trigger's level. So if Kokomi was 90, that would have been a lot freaking easier. Yaylon energy recharge. This is probably my bad. I think if I ran Fav, uh, I would have been better. That is totally on me. But dude, 
Oh, I'm really happy we were able to do it, but I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't like a realistic expression of your account. I think you and I both know there's a lot to get done. Homie, absolute goat characters, Shangling, Fischl, and you can even level up your Farazon for your Shao, but dude, Shangling and Fischl are absolutely insane. They will go so far on your account. And then dude, I'll recap, the artifact regimen that I think will make a huge difference on your account, farming Deepwood Gilded, for the five characters that we talked about earlier, it will be absolutely cracked. Farming Emblem for, I think it's about four characters and Shiminawa, the two-piece on Yomiya, the two-piece on Shao, and then strong boxing Viridus and Venerer, and Thundering Fury, if you feel like it, for your Sino. Those are what is going to bring your account to the next level, my friend. You got amazing characters with amazing weapons. I believe in you. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, another account review in the books. Homies, if you guys want a chance at being a part of an account review, get a mini account review, which I do on Twitch for a lot of viewers. Come check out the stream, homies. It would mean the world to me. The road to 50K subs. It is still alive and well, you know I've been mentioning it a lot. It's a dream of mine. Check if you're subbed to the channel, homies. It would mean the absolute world to me. 50K by the end of the year, let's go. And finally, huge shout outs to the patrons over on Patreon helping me and my girlfriend chase our dreams of being full-time content creators, okay? Big shout outs to Alchemist, the legend today. Zick, uh, Caldo, Cloudy, Meow, Gophers, everyone else over there, homies, I appreciate you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. I am tired. I gotta pee and I gotta go eat dinner. I was just in the abyss for three hours straight. My God. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.